So we're getting to the point where we're going to start, I'm going to start showing you how to install things like TWRP, Azure Custom Recovery, and how to gain root access to the Galaxy Note 9. Doing these allows for a lot more tinkering and modifications to your phone, especially if you want to start flashing custom ROMs. However, if you change anything on the system, such as installing a custom recovery, which in this case I'm referring to TWRP, or if you re gain root access to it, if you change anything on the Android system partition, it's going to trip a security layer that Samsung calls Knox, K-N-O-X. So today I want to show you how to check to see if you have tripped Knox. Now if you have tripped Knox, you're going to lose a lot of features on your phone, like Samsung Pay or like Secure Folder, and a lot of these things that Samsung feels are so important that you have to have a secure device and if you have tripped Knox then you can no longer use those features because the Samsung feels that once Knox has been tripped the phone is compromised and you can no longer trust that device so normally in my past Samsung tutorials I've shown you how to check if you've tripped Knox by booting into download mode but I recently found out that you can do this with a simple third-party application. All you have to do is go into the Play Store. And once you are in the Play Store, we're just you just need to search for the, ter the term Samsung Info. It's going to bring you to this free application. That's actually very useful for other reasons. And I show you, and I, uh, I tell you about this because we're going to be using this application to find out specific details of your phone in case you need to do a uh, a factory reset or manually flash the system partition or system images and all that stuff. But that's for a future tutorial. For now, I just want to show you that once you install the Samsung Info application. We can just go ahead and open it up and right on the front of the device, right on the first page in the general tab, we're going to see a bunch of different information here. We're going to see stuff like the manufacturing bin and brand, the phone model, uh, the device type, which is also can be referred to as the code name, uh, where the device uh, was originally purchased from. In my case, it was Vietnam the date that the device was manufactured, the color variant, and depending on which device you open this application on, will depend on, you'll see a bunch of different, different information here. For Samsung devices though, you're going to see a big section here called Knox Warranty. Now, if you have not done anything to your phone and you have not tinkered with it the person you bought it from has not tinkered with it and you have not what they call tripped Knox then this Knox warranty void section is going to say 0x0 if you see 0x0 that means Knox has not been tripped and if you're in the United States, that means your warranty is still okay. However, if you see 0x1, because I have been experimenting with TWRP on this phone for a future tutorial, then that means that Knox has been tripped. That means I have lost some lost access to certain features on this device. 
And in some uh, countries, such as the United States, it means the warranty has been void. If this comes back 0x1 like mine does, and I was to return it for a replacement at, say, Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, or even just a retail store, or I send it directly back to Samsung, it's possible that they will check to see if Knox has been tripped. If Knox has been tripped, and you live in a country that favors the corporation, then they can just send you the phone back and say that your warranty has been void and that they're not going to fix or replace it. Now, there are some countries that force co companies to honor their warranty, even if stuff like this has happened. So it just depends on a per-country um, law. But again, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to find out if you have tripped Knox on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 for those times if you ever need to get the war if you ever need, need to get something replaced if for some reason you find out that you can not use Samsung Pay if you can't use secure folder or some other feature this is especially a big deal if you buy a device secondhand if you buy a used device off of say eBay they could have installed TWRP, even if TWRP is no longer installed on this phone, which it is not right now, Knox is still tripped. It's permanent. You cannot reset it. There have been cases where exploits come out that allow you to reset that to 0x0. Zero zero. That's very rare. Don't expect it to happen, but it is possible. So there you have it. That is how to check to see if you have tripped knocks on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9.